Hey peeps, welcome to the Crafty Witch UK. My name is Arietta, and today it is another Crafty Live. So um, let's just take a look and see who we've got with us today. Um, I can see we've got Mutt Nuts, we've got Melanie, bonjour, we've got Roxy the Drotty Crafter, we've got Primpton Paper, hello, hello. Am I missing anybody? I don't think so just yet. So um, as always, oh, Sarah Rose, hello. <laughs> and Angel Ray, everybody is coming in the door. Um, I am super excited about tonight. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah just just getting the wire work on this finished um was quite the task but now i get to do the fun stuff the coloring in hey kate um yeah so i'm really glad that you are all here joining me for this um yeah i'm super excited so um those of you that hopefully will have seen previous videos um the clazone kit will hopefully look something like this when it's finished with these two lovely koi fish. So we started out with this sort of hard craft board. Um, I think it's, I don't know, maybe acrylic of some description. Um, it's quite light though. Um, so this had the pattern drawn on it and then I had to glue all the wires um, all the way around um, and then yeah now today we get to add the colour you can see I've already had a little practice doing this little koi fish here because I figured I should at least have a vague idea what I was doing before trying to do it in a knife <laughs> so, so yeah so that's my plan for today I want to try to get at least the other fish done and then whatever I don't get finished within this hour um, I'll work on off of camera and then show you a post review as soon as it's done. So um, just to point out the Clausone kit code is still valid um, that is scrolling along the bottom of your screen there. Um, they did say that a couple of people had um, gone and visited the site um, but not checked out so um, if there was a problem please get in touch with them if there was any reason why people are not checking out or if you're just trying to wait for a better deal I know that we all like to save a few pennies um, but hopefully that 20% off code can help a little bit so uh, yes um, I am going to grab a sip of coffee I hope everybody else has got something to drink maybe some snacks something to craft while you are listening to me drivel on um, yeah and just hopefully this can be quite a chill experience um, I will apologise for the fact that I'm probably not going to move my camera around very much. I have broken my recording arm. I think I might have mentioned that in the last video. Um, and so I've finally got it into a position where it's not constantly tipping and moving to one side. So I don't move it because I'll never get it to be steady again. Um, I think my, my next Patreon money is definitely going to go towards that so thank you everybody on patreon for um supporting this um these are the things that your money pays for um oh roxy is kitting up her paint gem minis oh i'm i'm very jealous that you got those autumn ones um for anyone that doesn't know um roxy the dotty crafter recently did an unboxing of three I think it was three um, paint gem mini kits. So do pop on over to her channel at some point and have a look at those. Oh, <laughs> Angel, no, not my actual arm, just my record re camera recording arm, not my actual arm. No, oh my goodness. No, I don't think I'd be doing, oh, I don't know. Could I do this with only one arm? Maybe, but I, I'm a lefty anyway. So as long as it wasn't my left hand, I might be all right. Um, so yes. Let's get started. Um, <laughs> oh, that's fine. <laughs> Mutt Nuts, you carry on. We're happy to be here in the background. You can just listen in to me dribbling on. And Kate's just come back from another wicker lesson. I can't wait to hear all about that. So um, starting off, I'm just going to spray the... Oh, 
can turn on my spray. There we go. I'm just going to spray the board with some water, um, just regular water in a spray bottle. Um, and this helps the sand water mixture to spread out. I'm talking about this like I actually know what I'm doing. I don't, not really. I'm just following the instructions as best as I can and sort of intuiting the rest of it. Um, so the, the colours, let me show you one that I haven't made up yet. So the colours come, they come in little baggies like this. Um, so much like diamond painting, you have to kit up into these pots. Uh, and this is the very fine pigment coloured sand mixture. Um, it seems like sand, I'm not sure exactly what it is. Um, so you have to then rinse that with some water. So you can see this one's got some water in it already. Um, what colour am I going to start? I'm going to start with this one. So, um, yeah, so I have added water to this already to make a kind of slurry, I suppose. And you have to, you add the water, you mix it, and then you pour off the water and then add more until it's sort of all combined into this sludge. <laughs> um, so yeah, and then we just add it to the little cells, I suppose, that we've created. So I am going to look at my little picture for reference, <laughs> just to make sure I know what I'm doing. And I'm doing that fish there. I mean, obviously, there is a lot of artistic license involved in this stage. Um, there's no rule that says I have to follow exactly um, what the picture shows. But as it's my first time doing it, <laughs> so yeah, we're just going to pop pop it in like that. I'm going to lift this up a second so you can see. Um, there you go, so you can see I've filled one little bit and I'll do the next one. There you go, that's probably a little bit too much. Um, what I was doing, and I worked on the first one, I had a little cotton bud and just if I felt like I'd done a bit too much, I was able to remove just a little bit. Without messing the rest of it up. There. Okay. Um, let's keep going. So, yeah, so on here, I'm just going to, we're going to go all red down this side of the fish um, and as well as using the little um, palette knife that the kit comes with they also suggest that you can use the pipettes as well so you can just sort of suck up some of the sandy mixture and then dot it in that way which for the very small areas is actually very useful it's gonna go so yeah I've been really pleased with the first one how it came out um obviously it's it's all new still to me so oh, and Yeah, so then the other thing that I was just sort of doing is just sort of tamping it down a little bit as I was doing an area, just to make sure that there were no sort of bubbles trapped. 
so it it sort of is as simple as that um i was very surprised at how quickly i was able to do the first fish um yeah i was i was pleased with how it came out so um right what else are we doing so i've got the orange here as well and this next sort of row of fish scales is a mixture of two colours. Half fill that side and then come in with some of the orange. I really do want to bring it down. I know I said I wasn't going to move it, but I'm going to try and bring it down a little bit. Okay, hopefully that will hold just so you've got a slightly better view of what I'm doing. Um, The only thing that I was worried about when doing the first one was I've got absolutely no sort of concept of how much sand I'm going to need to finish the picture. So I just was sort of hoping that there would there would be enough. And I think I'm sure there will be. Um, I would also imagine certainly when I've spoken to Clozone, Kit, their customer service has been really good. So I'm sure if I were to email them and say I'm halfway through a picture and I've run out they would probably much like with diamond painting they would be able to send me some more um what are you uh, yeah so I just I'm just sort of I'm not religiously following this, but I'm just sort of looking at, okay, where are the darks, where are the medium colours and where are the lights? So that's sort of where I'm going for now. I'm just going to move that red out of the way before I spill it. But yeah, for all of the sort of frustration I had with doing the, the first part the actual putting down the wires I am um, I think it's all worth it now because <laughs> this section I found very relaxing very forgiving because if you put something in the wrong place I mean at this stage there's no glue involved with the sand so um you can just you know grab a tissue or a pipette and just remove anything that's not where you want it to be. And again, I'm going to grab the lighter colour, which is this yellow. Oh, hey, Dylan! Oh, okay. <laughs> you do not need to ever apologise for being late. <laughs> You're all good. This one looks a bit like custard.
because that was too much. Sorry, I am. <laughs> Concentration mode has kicked in and I'm not chatting. So, sorry, I shall. I'll be more chatty once I've fixed this problem. Right, there we go. That's better. <laughs> so, we've got sort of a gradient now going from dark to light. Now, I need to add yellow into this sort of top fin at the base of the top fin, and then it will go into white. So in terms of colouring, this one's quite, quite simple. Almost everything is just working from, from dark to light. And it does say in the instructions that they recommend you, um, they recommend you working that way anyway with the colours from dark to light and from the centre outwards. Um, I did think about doing the centre first but then I realized I'd have you know, because that's such a big patch I'd be constantly sort of having to work around it before it was sealed and I decided that that was probably not the best idea and that I would just I would do all the background last it also means that if I make any mistakes with these bits and it overspills I can cover it up with the background <laughs> that's my thinking anyway <laughs> so, right on to the white <laughs> yeah yeah you can you can suck out any mistakes um so yeah and um until you've added the sealing the sealant glue this this side oh, is um partially sealed so when you've when you've completed an area you then go over it with um this mixed together one part to four part with water which is the sand fixing glue that it gives you um so that goes over it and then when that has dried that sort of allows you to kind of save your work and then when you're completely done it says wait three hours then spray the laminating glue all over um, until the entire painting turns white I guess from the from the glue sort of residue and then it will take about 30 hours for that to completely dry and turn clear so I imagine that this is probably some sort of Mod Podge sealery kind of varnish stuff I don't really know some white in here but yeah like I said this is the you know other than working on the first fish this is this is still my first time of doing this so I'm still learning I've watched a few YouTube tutorials for doing the wire, but there's not really a lot out there. And when I've spoken to Clozonic, it they were saying that there are still a lot of people that just have never heard of this um, as a as a craft or a hobby. So hopefully we can just help help people to find out more about it. Um, where I've got these two colours here, you can just sort of drag between them to make a better sort of a, a smoother transition between the colours and that needs to be as well is it no it's not right sorry I'm talking to myself now that's not very helpful okie dokes 
So <laughs> you want the fishies too? <laughs> they they are really pretty. Yeah. Um. I mean, I I still maintain that it wasn't maybe the best choice as a beginner's kit. Um. And in fact, it's not. I don't think it's even in their beginner section. Um. Sorry, slurping coffee. There are some much simpler um, canvases, boards. Um, and also I've noticed on their um, website now, you can buy the boards and the wire and the sand all separately now. So my little crafty brain was like, oh, I could do my channel mascot. That would be really cool. <laughs> I, could, I could buy all the stuff and then I could, I could do, where is she? There she is. Oh, I could do my little, my little crafty witch. I think she'd be quite a simple enough design to do in the cloisonne. So maybe that's maybe that's something for the future. Um because I think she'd be quite nice. I've already done her as a diamond painting. So <laughs> yeah. I think it'd be quite fun to every time I pick up a new craft to try and incorporate her in there somewhere. Right. Um back to the yellow. It's a relatively clean and tidy craft. I did find that there was a little bit of sand residue on my desk after I'd finished kitting up. But other than that, it's all been very straightforward. And um, of course, you know, little, little desk hoover or a dustpan and brush, very easy to, to clean up any problems. Um, yeah, obviously it's not a very portable craft. <laughs> But other than that, um, okay, and then we're back to the red. You want to? Oh, is it <laughs> the um, crafty witch diamond painting? There is a post review on post review of it on the channel. Um, I got her custom done by painting with dots who sadly aren't trading anymore they don't exist um but yeah if you you'll be able to find her on the channel um she's hanging on the wall and not within reach otherwise i would grab her to show you but yeah she's only what is she i think she's a true 30 by 40 um but yeah, they were really lovely because they took um, they took the logo and then she was sort of hand rendered so so that she would work as a diamond painting. I miss painting with dots. They were a brilliant company. Just such a shame, small businesses. Um, right, uh, I need a little bit of red. This might be a, this is the time for a pipette again. Just to get in, uh, oh, exactly not where I wanted it. <laughs> I want the other bit of the eye, not that bit. That's fine. There's a little bit of red that's leaked there, but the inside of that eye is going to be black, so I'm not too worried about that. The coffee god has arrived. Hold on, let me finish this one and then you can top me up. Thank you. Yeah, I liked the lucky cat. I quite liked, um, there was a space whale. <laughs> that I quite liked, sort of like a dream whale in space. Um, mostly it's all lovely dark blues and purples and sort of galaxy colours, which I'm a sucker for. So uh, what do we want now? We want a little tiny bit. Oh, what do I want to do? I want to do the orange. Yeah. Uh, 
I suppose if you were someone that sort of worried about colour placement or just wanted to be sort of reassured as to where to put colours, there's no reason why you couldn't sort of go in with a waterproof, so like a Sharpie or some sort of waterproof marker and mark up where you wanted your colours to go beforehand so that you had a guide. Obviously, I'm just looking at the picture and then just sort of figuring it out from there. Um, there is no official right or wrong way of doing it. Um, and in fact, Mr. J had suggested that I invert the colours for the fish so that, um, you know, one was the reverse of the other, which would have been lovely and was definitely tempting. But again, because I don't know how much of each of these colours I'm going to need, and I don't have any spares at this point with it being the first one I've done, I didn't want to risk going off the design too much um, and then not have enough to, to finish it. So, um, yeah, that was sort of my my concern was going too crazy and then not being able to finish the idea. Um, and we're back in with the yellow. And a little bit of white on the very end of the nose. See, I was just sort of hoping that um, with it being such a new craft, a lot of the videos that are available are time-lapse. Um, and I think there's quite a difference watching a time lapse of something like this to watching it real time because time lapse tends to make everything look so much easier than it is so much more polished and you can't really see what's being done so I think this might give people an opportunity the same as when I was I did a live doing some of the wire work um because again, that's something where most of the videos online are um, time lapsed and they look fab, but it also looks much, much simpler than it is, <laughs> if I say so myself. Uh, tiny, tiny bit of red. Just those little eyebrows. There we go. <laughs> Angry fish eyebrows. Uh, right, let's just get those eyes done and I've just spilled a little bit of water out, just a little bit of extra water there. Um, the other thing that so far I've been quite lucky with but it's worth going around and checking before you start adding the colour is just to make sure that you don't have any sort of leaks <laughs> in your... Um, and your little metal barriers. I think I've been all right so far. Right. Black is the one thing I don't think I'm going to run out of at all because they've given me quite a lot. And I think I only need it just for the eyes. That's it. I think that's it. I, um, unless, hmm. yeah, I might need to use some of the black to make this dark, dark blue because I have only got two shades of blue and it does sort of look like there might be three shades of blue used there. But it doesn't say anywhere. So, again, I shall make that up as I go along. Thank you for the coffee.
but yeah, obviously. There you go. You can see. That's the one I've just done versus the one that's sort of drier because it's was done on Monday. I think I did it Monday. I can't remember. Now. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I was getting quite into it. I sort of had to force myself to stop. I was like, no, no, <laughs> I'm supposed to be saving this to do in the line. Um, but those of you on Patreon will have, will have seen some of that one because I did share a bit of that with you guys because I was so excited um right let's get back into these very fancy fins so again fins working dark medium and light Um, it's nice that they give you all these little pops with the kit as well. Um, <laughs> so you, it is one of those, you know, <laughs> you get everything you need. Um, all of the tools, if you, um, you get this lovely pouch with all of your tools in, um, everything, yeah, really everything I needed. I can't think of anything other than... I added my own spray bottle, but that's only because it does come with a spray bottle, but I already used that spray bottle to mix up the um, one to four part glue. Um, oh, <laughs> thank you, Kate. Um, Kate says she, she enjoyed watching the um, video of me working on the other fish. So. So yeah, I mean, if any of you do decide to go and get a kit, do make sure that you you share it and let us all know because I'm definitely going to be getting another one, I think. Um, and I, when I first started this, <laughs> I didn't think I'd be saying that. I was like, oh my gosh, what have I got myself into? This is taking forever and the glue is really stinky. And <laughs> but once I'd kind of broken the back of doing the wire work you sort of see why putting the time and effort into getting the wire done means that this bit is just so relaxing and nice and yeah and because you've got to wait for drying times and things it's it's nice to have a craft that there isn't a way to rush it. You, it takes as long as it takes because you've got to wait for everything to set. And that means that you have to take time to do other things or. Um, what am I looking at? Sorry, I was looking at the wrong fish. The fish are not identical. <laughs> and I know it doesn't really matter. that's that's fair enough yeah mate <laughs> okay says so can't add another craft to my huge collection maybe when your craft room's finished you know maybe just just a little one and obviously i did um i mentioned on the facebook group that they've got these sets of the bookmarks now so i think i'm definitely going to try those um i was very intrigued by the whole sort of do it yourself idea of make your own patterns and that really because I think it's a bit like doing doing your own diamond painting from scratch um it's it's almost a different craft entirely at that point um oh 
<laughs> Sorry, I just saw Sarah Rose's comment. Yeah, what is one more craft? You know? Yes, the panda bookmark is very cute. <laughs> yeah. Um, I think the bookmarks might come as a set of three. I'm not sure. Um, I would have to... I should have opened up their website to have a look. But... Where are you going? What's... You are going into yellow. <laughs> oh no, that's far too much. I'm getting overconfident, putting too much on the spatula. Unite absolutely. <laughs> Collecting crafts and completing crafts are two separate things, you know that. Okay, so yeah, it's just, I feel like I'm just sort of picking away at it a little bit, just bit by bit. At this stage, it's, it's kind of a fun, um, almost just like colouring in. month um march is national crafting month so if there was ever a time to be enabling other people's crafting habits then um march is a good month to do it Mega horde sounds like heaven. Yeah, we just need to, you know, we should all hire one massive craft space. <laughs> yeah. Uh, back to wanting to do crafting weekenders again. <laughs> Bye. Have a nice evening at work. <laughs> That's it. That's I'll be off for the night. I can indulge myself. <laughs> Crafting warehouse, yeah. <laughs>
my goodness. Well, I think I might have been a little bit um, ambitious to think I could do a whole fish in an hour. But we've still got 15 minutes left. I might get half a fish done. <laughs> I don't want to rush it, though. I, you know, it's important to enjoy the process, even if I am trying to demonstrate it to you. Sorry, I'm sure all of this scraping and mixing sounds quite grim on the microphone. But... I suppose in a way, this is a little bit like a slightly more grown-up version of those velvet pictures. Um, I don't know if any of you have done those or remember those. They were very big in when I was a child. Um, so they'd be like colouring pages, but instead of black outlines, it would be like this velvety... Um, what would you call it? Um... <laughs> um yeah, just like a velvety fluff edging. Um, yeah, it's. Um, let me show you one that's not mixed with. So <laughs> many, many velvet picks. Yeah, <laughs> flock. Thank you. Flock is the word that I was looking for. Yeah. So um, hold on. Let me just dry off my spatula. Um, yeah. So this is what it starts off like. Um, just to answer. Kate's question. Um, so it's it's a sandy substance. I don't know what it actually is. Looks like sand, feels like sand, kind of acts like sand. Um, but whether it's got anything else added to it, I'm not sure. And then, yeah, uh, they describe it as sand in the instructions. So yeah, it comes comes in these little packs, and I got you. Know, so many of each colour. Um, you put the sand into the cups, you add water to cover it, um, stir well, leave it to stand for a bit, pour off the top clear water um, and then add a little bit more water so that it's all completely you know, completely sandy, um, like it, it, good sand for sand castling. Um, <laughs> So, yeah. Um, oh, Dylan said the thing my thing my parents did to help me not go out the lines when colouring. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I used to really like the velvet pictures. They, I mean, kind of tacky by today's standards, I suppose. Hi, Robin. Um, but yeah, I I used to enjoy them. Do I want to put white at the end there? Yeah, let's put a little bit. Looking very flamey now. That one. <laughs> I think I've probably gone a bit more orange than the original picture. The original picture is probably a bit more red, but I don't mind. Mine's unique. <laughs> uh, right, back to back to red again. Um, yeah. So I know that with traditional enameling which obviously this is an art based off of enameling um it would then be baked in an oven and the the color would become liquid and then solid <laughs> i'm not explaining that very well um but yeah it would harden into a glassy kind of substance in the oven um obviously this is it takes out that baking step and instead is sealed up with some sort of laminate glue. Um,
knock those bubbles out again. Also just helps the water to kind of come up to the surface where it will evaporate. So what's everybody else working on? Obviously, I know Roxy's switching between working on her fox picture and kitting up her new paint gems. When I'm not doing this, I have been working on Dear and Delicate for the hashtag All Petals event. Sorry, All Petals 24. Um, and then also, <laughs> and you know, this wasn't planned because um, March is National Crafting Month, but um, I finished my miniature house that I was working on, um, that I worked on in a live ages ago um so yeah finished that last night um so yeah i shall post review that at some point um i say it's finished i can't get the lights to work in at the moment so um i am hoping to um have hubby look at the wiring to see if he can help me with that because that's that's not something that i'm good at um and if i can't get the lights to work it's fine you know, the, the house is done and looks pretty good so um but yeah i shall have a go at fixing the lights and then do a post view for that because yeah again though that's that's been a long time coming so this this seems to be my year of finishing projects yeah i finished valentine masquerade i'm getting this finished <laughs> i i'm gonna I, I finished my miniature house uh yeah it's, it's gonna be the year of endings and new beginnings um, Sarah is working on a crochet bedspread and oh wow you're going to make beanies and wigs for cancer kids that's awesome that's fab um, <laughs> yeah um, said Athena it is um, there's an unboxing on the channel it's made by or the kit came from a company called QTB um I put the box in the recycling, so I don't even have the box next to me anymore. Um, do I have... No, I thought I'd kept the instruction booklet, but I didn't. Um, so, yes, that's what I've been up to. Oh, right now you're sitting by your pond watching your ducks. Oh, that sounds lush. Um... Kate's got three three books for lessons, two cross stitches, and a Richard Lawrence out of control bird. Oh, those birds are so popular. Uh, Robin's working on a DP called Autumn Sun from Dreamer Designs. I've looked at that one several times. <laughs> yeah, that's a nice one. Uh, and working on a watercolour, which happens to be fish. Ah. Are we still in Pisces? No, we're in Aquarius now, aren't we? Yeah. Yeah, and yeah, Pisces is February. Uh, <laughs> Colour blocking hell with Tiger Mantra. Uh, oh, Angel, what are you drawing? Oh, um, QTB like to be cute. Um, hold on a second. Let me go grab the box. Ugh. Right. Oh my. Okay. There you go. So it's cute bee, not cutie bee. So it's not helpful. Um, yeah, cute bee DIY house. Um, okay. Now I don't know where the um, instructions are. Oh, 
I thought they were in the box. They weren't. Sorry, my chair is so squeaky. Um, there's a picture of it. So, yeah, so it'll be fine if the lights don't work. But, um, I mean, they do add quite a lot to it. <laughs> so, we'll see. Um, but, yeah, I'm... What I was working on last night was the um, bookcase. That was the last thing I did, which was very cool. Um, sat watching Big Brother making tiny books. <laughs> so, but, yes, so, um, oh, you tried a miniature bookstore. Um, what have I, I've got a miniature coffee shop that I got from Timu, and I've got an, um, a bedroom to make that I got from fan cells that's inside a tiny little retro television tin. Um, so I've got a couple to, to start, but those, the cute B1 is a larger scale to the other two. <laughs> Add this to the craft boarding. <laughs> Yeah, it, it do be like that. <laughs> yeah, every time I finish something, I find something new. Um, I recently saw an advert on Facebook for uh, another craft. It's a bit like diamond painting, but you colour the dots in instead of sticking the dots on. And um, part of me thinks that that is going to be headache-inducing territory. And another part of me is like, but I want to give it a go. So I've reached out to the company to see if they're interested in some sort of collab. You never know. Doesn't hurt to ask. Oh, I've, I've overdone that massively. <laughs> Just a wee more to the hoard. I don't know. I'll check with them how long the code is valid. Um, they know that I'm going to be advertising it today. Um, so definitely this week, I will see if I can get an update from them as to how long they're happy for me to keep using it. I'm hoping they'll just let me keep using it. Um, but I guess it depends if people are using it. So, yeah, but I will, I'll reach out to them tomorrow and find out. Oh, I've got a oh, dry bit of canvas here, so I need to add a little bit more, a little bit more water just to help with the blending. I'm going to finish this fin before the end of the line. That's my plan. But I also don't want to rush it. So. Am I wearing a respirator? Not for this, no. 
<laughs> no, sorry. If you can hear heavy breathing, it is just because I'm concentrating. I do apologize. But no, I made sure to finish the um, the wire sections on a day where we had the doors for the house open. So that was much safer. <laughs> okay. Oh, yeah. Um, it's it's the glue that came with this, which is a um, where is it? This B seven thousand stuff um uh, which is a flexible waterproof stinky glue um yeah that that was the thing that was that was the problem but this no problem at all obviously don't breathe in the sand <laughs> but because you're working with it wet it's all good oh i've not seen the magic shop i may have to go and have a look <laughs> <laughs> um mine my, my cute bee kit came from amazon i didn't buy direct from their website so <laughs> but i want to breathe in the sand no don't sniff things <laughs> oh yes so i'm gonna stop here otherwise i'll be rushing to try and get more done before um our hour is at the end yeah, that I think this is like a knockoff of E6000, probably. I don't know if the letter and the number actually mean anything different. Um, I'd have to do some investigation into that. But yeah, I'd heard of E6000, um, but the kit came with this B7000. Um, the English translation on the back is not great. So... Um, It says things like, um, where was the one that about? Um, there was something about eating. <laughs> well, I can't find it now. But yeah, there was something silly on the back of this about not eating. Oh, here we go. Um, stimulate the taste free. <laughs> it says on there, stimulate the taste free, which I think it means <laughs> that it tastes bad. Um, I don't know. It also claims to have a hint of a scent, which is a lie. <laughs> but it's fine. It's what came with the kit. I didn't want to risk using the wrong thing, um, given how much water is involved in this process. Um, yeah, I wanted to make sure I was using the correct waterproof glue and all that so um yeah that is almost one fish done um certainly the best part of a fish it's got these two fins here to do um and then all of the watery bits around the edge and then the background and then that's it all done so i will work on this throughout the week you might even see it next week is a post review, certainly before the end of the month. I promised myself that this would be finished this month and it very, very much will be because, um, yeah, it's been fun to work on. So, um, yeah. Uh, same thing, just branded differently. Quite possibly, yeah. <laughs> okay. My lovely, lovely people, thank you all for joining me for this. I hope that it has encouraged you to go try something new. Um, give Clausoni Kit a try. Um, I'm not, I don't make any commission or anything off of this. <laughs> There's no, <laughs> um, no affiliate link. It's just, um, just that they offered to help support the event and um so yeah that is that is it really um i hate ending these lives i never really know what to say it's all that normal youtube stuff you know what to do please remember to like the video share it with a friend use all my discount codes down in the description to make sure that you're saving some money 
if you feel like coming over to Patreon, come over to Patreon. Um, Patreon um, Zoom nights have now moved to the first Tuesday of the month because um, I was struggling with Thursdays being straight after a live. But other than that, it's all good. Um, thank you so, so much. Um, it means the world that you guys come out and hang around with me while I do these things. I am very, very grateful. So that is all from me and my koi fish. And until next time, stay crafty.